A compact tablet might be something very, very useful if you want to run around, walk around. But what if you want to type in longer texts? It can get a bit of tiring and frustrating typing on this virtual keyboard with two thumbs. So what might come in handy might be a keyboard. And I have here one from Inatech that sent me the KB01. Zero 01, I think it's called. It's this keyboard here, KB01101. This is the product name. Uh, in attack, yeah, we have to find a better name for this. But this one is a pretty interesting and very thin keyboard that might work together with your tablet or other computers that might need an external keyboard. I think I will do perform a test and tell you a little bit more about this Inatech keyboard. So let's get started. So the Inatech keyboard comes in this clear case and you can see what's inside. We have a USB A to C cable and the keyboard itself. It's pretty easy to open. I already uh, got rid of the two stickers. You can see Inatech here and you can read the model here KB01101 one black and DE for Germany. You'll just get rid of this. You can take this keyboard out. Here we go. That's the keyboard by itself with the keys and the touchpad. And we have the charging cable, uh, which is USB type C to USB A. So let's first position my tablet and put it in here. And uh, now I have everything ready for the Inatech keyboard itself. And what you can see here is it is not only a keyboard, but also it comes with a touchpad. So it can be used as a full-fledged yeah, laptop or notebook replacement with this touchpad. And this touchpad is very useful because it can be used not only for Android or Harmony OS tablets, but also for Windows. And you can see it here by the keys. We have one Android and Windows option here. What this has to do with the operating system and uh, this keyboard here, we will talk about a little bit later. First of all, let's take a look at the layout and the size. What you can see here, this is the German keyboard layout. This is why you get U, E, Ö keys and uh, Z, the Z and Y are uh, yeah, on different places basically. What we have a full-fledged keyboard without a numpad. So we also have F keys, which is pretty important. And we have some special keys here as well. What you can see, for example, is we have a special lock key here on the top right corner. That is, of course, for locking Android phones, Android tablets, and so on. Then we have special keys here, like the volume controls, the media controls, and some multitasking controls, screenshot utility, brightness utility search and another button for something special we have an escape key and in yellow we have function keys those function keys can be accessed with this function button it's nice that it's all in the same color so you know what kind of yeah, function will be used by using the function button as you can see some uh, keys are missing on this keyboard in contrast to a normal keyboard. So for example, the pipe symbol is something that would usually be here somewhere on a German keyboard layout. In this case, it is hidden under the function button, but it's good that they were thinking about this, especially also for uh, these buttons, because yeah, this is basically in a German keyboard layout, this uh, extra functions are basically on one button uh, where with shift, you can switch between those brackets and with, uh, uh, Alt, you can switch to the pipe symbol. Here it is a function button. So it's a little bit of learning curve, but still it's good that it's there. Then what we have here as well is like the uh, home and end button. And we have like a page up and page down button as well. Then we have some other special keys only available for this keyboard. Just like, for example, I don't know what this is. It's a battery symbol here. Probably it's showing battery life or something like this, but also disable touch. So I can also disable the touchpad if I don't want the touchpad interfering, if I'm typing a lot and I don't want any accidental touches to appear. So this Inatech keyboard is pretty good because if you type, first of all, it's very flat. So if I type here and have even if I have my hand here on the keyboard, 
um, and the touchpad is touching here. As long as I'm typing, there's a 0 0.5 uh, seconds, I think, delay before the touchpad reacts. So if I press a button, it takes 0 0.5 times for the touchpad to react again, which is pretty handy. So you don't have accidental touches usually. So this is built in already. Yeah, and then we have those special keys. Of course, we have the F keys here on the extra row, but we can also lock the F keys. So by pressing Fn and escape, then pressing this is not using the primary function, but using the F2 key. Might be also handy for certain applications where you want to have those stuff. Just like, for example, I connected it to my Linux PC and I want the Alt F2 for calling KRunner or something like this. Then we have Android and Windows here. This is something to do what you want to connect to. So I'm connecting now to my uh, tablet. This is a Huawei tablet uh, running Harmony OS. And uh, yeah, what, what I can do, I connected previously to this, is um, I just turn it on. And therefore I show you a little bit more about the keyboard, just like, for example, here the side where we can see the USB Type-C charging port and we have an on-off uh, switch. This is everything. There's nothing else here around the device. And you can see how thin this device is, really, and uh, nothing else. So very, very easy to use. So just hit the on button. We have a few LEDs, power indicator and the Bluetooth indicator. Bluetooth indicator is showing me right now it is connected already. This A indicator is for caps lock. So if I go into caps lock, you can see uh, this is turning on here. If I turn it off, caps lock is off. So nice LEDs here. Great that they also thought about it, especially the power LED that tells me, okay, it's powered on or not, and also acts as a charging indicator. So now I have my tablet here. Maybe I put it flat also on the table so you can see a little bit, maybe a little bit angled here like this. Now it almost looks like a tablet. Anyway, I can use the keyboard uh, touch panel here to uh, control the mouse. So oh, it has also ma magnets here. So I can use here, as you can see, the touch panel to control the mouse, which is pretty nice and handy. And of course, all the keys that you want to have that should work, just like, for example, I want to have the volume control, can see volume control is running here without any issues here on the side. Even the brightness control is working. As you can see, I can make it very, very dark or very, very bright. I have also the screenshot option. If I press this button, the screenshot will appear. I can edit the screenshot the way I like to. And of course, I have also an option for multitasking. So I can press here and it multitasks into my last application. Basically, what it does, I think, is just having alt tab because alt tab is also working goes to my next uh, or previous um, app so this is possible here on android and uh, harmony os tablets but also, of course you can also use it with windows and this is what android and windows stands for because certain uh, keys here like those volume keys media keys only work with android ios and others and some Windows keys use different key combinations or different signals. So you can use FN and Windows to switch to a Windows keyboard layout. And this would work better with Windows or Linux computers, for example. So I tested this with my Linux laptop where it also working fine, was working fine. And typing on this is also pretty nice. So uh, let, me, let me show you, for example, I just go down here and type a little bit of text in here. Uh, This is a little test and you can see here that I'm typing pretty nicely and don't have any issues. And I think also the speed where I'm typing this with, it's Bluetooth, but still uh, working fine. I'm not even sure which Bluetooth version this keyboard is using, but I don't have any lags or delay with this. Would I game with a Bluetooth keyboard is now the question because it might be interesting also using it for gaming. I think for mobile games and so on, if you don't need fast response times, maybe strategy games and so on if you don't need fast response types also uh, but when it comes to um, yeah when it comes to really competitive stuff don't have a bluetooth keyboard you have something attached with a cable but this is not for this this is more for office types if you want to type emails uh, longer texts um, articles 
this is a full-fledged keyboard i think the keys are a little bit small but still a little bit smaller than normal keys but still the key travel is good even if it's so thin the key travel is pretty pretty awesome on this this keyboard and you feel what's going on it's a bit is it loud i think it, it feels nice and good don't i don't have any issues with this all the keys the travel nice very very nice and for this compact device also pretty interesting and pretty nice what really impressed me however are is the touchpad the touchpad uh, down below let's get this a little bit into focus so this touchpad is very interesting because it does not only support moving the mouse here on the screen but also their gestures so two fingers for example i can swipe and you can see here swiping on the tablet so it has gesture support, which is pretty, pretty awesome. What I didn't try out, let's go to some pictures and I go, for example, into one of those screenshots here. I want to zoom in. Is this working? This is not working. So I cannot do this kind of, but I can scroll up and down and you can see I can scroll up and down here as well in my pictures which is pretty nice. I can choose whatever I like to see. And uh, yeah, I can make it full screen and I can go back by scrolling up, scrolling down, getting rid of this. So it depends on the operating system, what kind of features are supported. But this is pretty interesting that you have the feature of, um, yeah, multi-touch and so on and this is a very good productivity feature as well especially if you only have a tablet with windows or with uh, harmony s or android or something like this and you want to cut videos for example there's so many key combinations that you can use that are pretty handy and i'm most of the time just like this video probably will be also cut on on my matepad 11 with kinemaster and what i really like to do is then having uh, really a keyboard where i can type the titles and so on if i want to type a title but also the mouse pointer you know i have a stylus here but the mouse pointer is a more precise instrument when it comes to um, putting text at the right place and so on so i was working on this video here for example okay i uh, don't have the uh, but i have like so many possibilities with uh, just using this uh, keyboard here and uh, maybe I should choose a pro project that still has some media files. It is so fantastic to be able to scroll and swipe through your timeline instead of using the touch screen and so on and having precise cutting points and uh, using the space bar and other key combinations to cut stuff that it's very, very handy. So if you need a keyboard, this Inatec keyboard is pretty handy. And I have to say, I'm using it roughly now a week, five days actually, and I did not have any problems with the battery when it comes to battery. The battery did not run out. When it came, sadly, the battery was empty. So I had to charge it because I otherwise didn't have a connection. And I had one time on the first connection the problem that only the touchpad was working on my tablet, uh, but the keyboard was not working. But after I just deleted the um, connection and reconnected it and connected with other devices, no issues at all. One thing that I really like in a tech, the only thing, the only complaint I have, it's almost a perfect device. The only complaint I would have with this is two things, two things. And this would be like, it's very flat and a little bit of angled up would be nice. So just adding maybe a little bit of thickness here just to have like a flap on two sides to uh, having it also having the possibility to angle it up would be super super awesome then you have like even better uh, typing experience otherwise the typing experience is pretty damn good here um, this is also interesting the, the the power indicator and so on charging is nice what i really like uh, to have as well would be maybe backlit no, no, it's a very cheap keyboard, you have to say. But a backlit solution would be very nice for darker uh, conditions as well. And uh, sometimes I'm missing maybe also when, when I'm running out of power, the possibility to use the USB-C to directly hook it up to a laptop as a yeah, wired uh, as a wired keyboard basically with, with USB type C that would be nice and of course it would be also nice if we could have like uh, another USB C to charge it maybe to charge our phones with for example or if it's possible I'm not sure if it's possible make it a little bit thicker add a headphone jack in there 
uh, that would be very nice as well. There are some nice ideas, but for this lightweight and for the price that you get, that you pay for this, you get really a fantastic keyboard, uh, very interesting uh, stuff. And I can just put it together with my tablet. I can put the tablet on top like this. So the tablet is protected a little bit. I can put it together. This is a 10 inch uh, tablet, I think 11 inch tablet, uh, MatePad 11. And it fits perfectly, as you can see. It does also work with iOS via Bluetooth. You can connect to it. Not all features are supported then, because you can see it's a Windows key, for example. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't work on Android. It doesn't do anything. But uh, also on macOS, not all the keys are working. This is more for Android and Windows. But still, it's a very, very good and interesting device. So what I did not uh, tell you yet is the pairing button is here. You can see it's a yellow kind of color. So that means FN and this, hold it for a few seconds. The blue LED at the bottom here starts blinking and then you can pair it up with another device. Let me just show you and demonstrate it to you. Let me just get this unpaired and I just take another phone like here for example my LG G8X and uh, go into Bluetooth here and I press the uh, Bluetooth the pairing button let me so now you can see it blinking frequently here and I hit the refresh button and it should appear here the Inatec keyboard I can connect to it and uh, pair it and then it is connected to my LG and you can see I have a proper mouse pointer here. I can perform all the gestures here as uh, well. And uh, I can even type in some stuff that I want to like uh, test and uh, it appears here as you can see. Uh, so I have the ability to connect it very, very quickly with uh, devices. So what I really like to have is this is one device only would be maybe an option with as I want to pair it with multiple devices to have an option for it to store like two or three devices so I can quickly have like another switch uh, that allows me to switch from position one to two or three. This would be awesome I would say but this in general is such a good product already that these are the only complaints that I have about it. It's like making it slightly bit more premium or having a premium a version with slightly angled up option, the option to have three different profiles or devices to connect to. Otherwise, it's like pretty awesome. It's so thin and lightweight that I'm amazed by this product. That's the Inatec uh, KB01101 keyboard. And uh, probably you'll find a link down below in the description if you're interested in this one. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.